Hello everyone. I hope you have been learning from our videos. Today also we have another interesting topic for how you can do a one-click deployment of DeepSeek, the very popular AI model, and that is open source as well. You can do that on Alibaba Cloud. But before we get started, thank you for liking and subscribing and sharing these videos. It really helps out the channel. A uh, piece check out our newsletter that you can go to our arenatechnologies.com or also on a sister platform, cloudmysite.com as well. With this, let's get started. DeepSeek version 3, it's a mixture of experts, also called MOE, large language model with 671 billion parameters. And it was launched by DeepSeek. DeepSeek R1 is a high performance inference model trained on the DeepSeek version 3 base. This model offers VLLM or Blade LLM extracted deployment features that enables you to deploy the DeepSeq version 3 and DeepSeq R1 series models just with a single click. DeepSeq R1 distilled Quen B is what we're going to be spinning up. So you can you can check this uh, 7B model. It's kind of weird thing to do is you could spin it up on a, a instance and I'll go into, into the detail of that. You will require GP, GPU configuration. And there are the models as well. There are higher models like DeepSeq R1 distill uh, Lama 8B. There is uh, Quen 14B, uh, there is Llama 70B, so much higher models available that may, you may require for advanced computing requirements. But for our purposes, we are just going to deploy a single simple LLM on uh, with a quick setup and something you can duplicate in your environments as well. First, you need to set, set up an account in Alibaba. As I had said, it is free. You can come to Alibaba Cloud and you can uh, set up an account. And once you have set up an account, you come here, we here, and uh, click the console. This is what is going to load for you, and what you will see. Platform for AI this is the service that you will be requiring. There will be an additional setup that you could do. You could spin up VPC if you require. You could use object storage if you require as well. But this is the service that you will need to first of all activate. Now, before you are able to use the service, you will be prompted to create a user, and then you will be able to proceed. So it's a very simple uh, self-driving wizard that you can just follow through when you create an account and just come over here for platform for EI and just ensure you are there in the particular region. Over here in US, you could choose Virginia. These are the data centers available in US, Silicon Valley, Virginia. If you are in any of the other regions like Asia Pacific or Middle East, you can choose these options that are available. But for my scenario, I'm good to use the the Virginia region. Once you have ensured that the region is proper, you come to the left-hand side and where you select the workspaces. So you could select this default workspace and you can change this workspace name and hit submit. But this is the configuration that you can do yourself. Click model gallery. So this will open all the models that are available in Alibaba. Type in the Quen series. You see you have all the Quen series available. I'll just choose the Terry 2B. You will see the Terry 2 bin model. It's a much more powerful model compared to the 7B. Now this is where you will have the options to deploy, train and evaluate. For our purposes, we just want to deploy. We don't really want to train the model or you could hit deploy. And uh, this is where you will see the options for deployment. You can Come here, you can leave the default names. You can leave it public. And this is the cost of the computer. It'll be spinning up. You could bid, uh, but this one, it doesn't support bidding. Instead of choosing this high cost, hit the edit, and I'll choose the cheaper option. Apparently, this is the only cheaper one available because it's sold out. But when you spin up, see if it's available because GPUs are pretty rare. That's why it's easily sold out. This is a high configuration. You can come and choose a lower configuration, such as this one which has almost to one third the memory requirement. There is no VPC for and just hit deploy. Acknowledge this, all this is saying is that you will be charged for the resources you are spinning, whether their resource view are invoking the resources or not, you are going to be charged. So if you don't need the model and charted is stopped or better terminated. So hit okay and the model will be spinning up. It does take a good five to 10 minutes to spin up uh, you could see the few additional details, the service details that are there, the service name, the status of the model, and the resource information, and this is the amount of memory that will, will be requiring. 
and the service log as well. So let's wait for it to start up and we can resume once the, the model is properly deployed and running. Okay, so now this model is deployed, it's in operation. If you want, we can check the status by clicking on view deployed events. And you could see the status of this, you know, the service and the actions it took to have this deployed. Click on the monitoring and get additional data if required. So there's no logs as now because there's no request sent, but auto scaling and any online debugging. Once this model is deployed, we will need to test it out to ensure it is working properly. So flag view call information, and this is the, the URL, as well as the token I will need to use. You can also get this call documents. This is going to give you the call command. Do you let me open Postman? And you can paste this command in Postman. Okay, so this is Postman that we will be using to send the request. You could use any other tool. If you're comfortable with using SOAP UI, if you're comfortable with using curl command or a bash command, or a Python command. All you will have to do is just do an import, click in your raw request here at the endpoint that was pro uh, provided now important to collection. Now this is the endpoint that I used and uh, the token, this is the authorization. Just put the better token and replace it with this token. Remove this body because this is not what the request we want to send. Click on raw. This is ample request that you can send. It's not found. Okay. The endpoint is also what you need to provide. We run chat completions. You can check out the Alibaba API for the model to see what all options are there. So it's sending the request. Let's give it some time. The response is returned. Now, this is where I'd asked a question. What is three plus five? It's very pretty simple. And it gave me all this answer because it's a deep learning model. It has provided an elaborate answer that I can use. Now, I can also ask another question. Do you generate like Safari because, because we do a lot of website for our customers. So this is where the, it provided the response that uh, I remember seeing favicons and it's providing all this option. You don't need to pay for any EPA caller because this is a model that you are hosting. All you're going to be paying is for the compute. It's a nice uh, response. You could also check out to run the same request from view deployed events as an online debugging is what you want to select. Now this is where you can run these commands over here and send request. Now here you don't need to put any token or anything because it's all part of the Alibaba ecosystem. You could change this as well. You could change this to the chat that you had put in your postman. Just click on chat and send a request. You can see the response that you are getting from the online debugging tool. You could provide for additional information if you want. And uh, you could say, what is three plus two? And this is a very simple question. You can ask additional questions and you should get a, you should get a proper response. And all this is running locally, nothing, I'm not calling any other APA. This all model is in my control. This is the response. So now once we are done, if we need to clean up, come back to model gallery in workspace details. Let me zoom in and click on job management. Click on deployment jobs. And this was the new model I had tried. This is where you can see the new model that you have deployed. Hit stop. And rather you can just click delete it so directly. It's going to take care of stopping as well as deleting. And come here, just hit refresh. And this is where your model will be deleted. I'll delete the previous one also I had created. This way you can ensure you are no longer going to be charged for the GPUs or the compute you had provisioned. So with this, I hope you were able to see how quickly you can deploy a DeepSeq AI model. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to our videos. And drop in a comment for the next video that you would want to see. Thank you and have a good day.